Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> I apologize. I know I am late. I am so late. Um, you know, Corona's graduation, applying for a job. I lost my hair. A lot of stuff. Yeah. Previous uh, video, I guess. Uh, we had this. We were working on this. And we didn't finish the project because I ran through some issues. And if you missed that, if you didn't watch that, you can go watch that video so you would understand what's going on. So, right now, huge shout out to Split Media for hooking me up with this. Sony 1800 watts. That's a nice subwoofer. It's compact. It's nice. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, my boy, Split Media, for hooking me up with this. So we're gonna be testing this out, as I promised you guys, and we're gonna see this one. We're gonna have a bit of comparison between homemade and <laughs> something which you would buy. But yeah, I bet this was some way better than this because there is calculations. You can't just randomly make stuff like that because the air has to be like compressed and stuff and so on and so on, blah, blah, blah. Physics, no physics. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna stop right here. Enough talk, more work, and let's get on to it. So basically, here's where I left off. Um, here's my mistakes, and here's the sub. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be just drilling a hole over here so I can just pass the wire to the sub. So yeah, that's pretty much it, what I'm gonna be doing. And then use those two pieces of wood, close this part, close that part, and then wire up, wire it up to the car, and that's it. Should be an easy job. Should be. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> All right, peace. Inside, and then we tie it up, and then we're good. That's it. I'm gonna open this one just you know to compare the size, you know. Well, it's definitely smaller. <laughs> and um, way more compact. So, we'll see how the sounds, you know? <laughs> it doesn't have an airflow. That's weird. They did not make any airflow. It's like completely closed and compact. Where this has, I made an airflow for it. You guys want to see how it looks like? It is too big. Too big. <laughs> like, whoa. It's, I barely have trunk space. Now I pushed it and like, this is the space what I have. I can't fit it more because you know, there's a bent over there, there's a curve, which is like same as that. You see that curve? There's the over there. So, well, I guess we all agree. We want to hear the sound of this. Thing. I don't know if it's a beast. It's a thing for now. I keep it a thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go wire it up from the back and then, you know, we'll see what happens now. What's up, you guys? I'm right now here in the middle of nowhere testing out the speakers so no one will be like, put down the voice or anything. I can, you know, like, khadrahti. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I got the bass running and everything. <sighs> You guys be the judge.
pretty much it. That's the test what I can say. I can say it sounds good. <laughs> I could definitely say it sounds good. I'm surprised. I'll be honest, I'm surprised. It sounds good, but it's too big. So like, if I have, let's say for example, a GMC car, like a big truck, I wouldn't mind putting that thing over there. It is big, sounds nice, does the job. I'm, 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 I'm surprised, you know, with my work. But time for me to go back home and compare it with the Sony. Alright guys, right now it's gonna be round two. We're gonna check out the Sony. And yeah, by the way guys, for the song, so shout out to Adam, Spare Smooth, check him out on SoundCloud. I'll leave a link down below. Sony is way better. The Sony is the sound, is the type of bass which I am looking for, to be honest. It's the type that I'm looking for. It has that kick, it has that bass, it has that, you know, like, boom, you know, that sound, like, oof. That when that kicks in, woo, you can feel it in your heartbeat, man. You can literally feel it in your heart. That is so damn nice. You know, like, the vibration is nice. It's a nice vibe, you know. There's a nice vibration to it and you know, it's not that boom boom, but it is not even that less. It's right there. It's the perfect spot, you know, it's hitting that perfect spot. Um, I'll be honest, like I'm surprised. No airflow and it makes like this. Like you guys got you guys gotta buy one of those man. <laughs> Shout out to Split Media for hooking me up with this. That is really, really, really nice. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna head home. There's something I need you guys, I need to sell. Ah. There is something I want to say to you guys, okay? Okay, yalla, bye bye. Let me tell you something about this little bad boy. This is 2000 watt speaker, sorry, subwoofer. But the Sony the sub is 1800. By the math, this is stronger. But what's happening? The Sony's stronger. Why? Because the thing is that it's all in the box. You make the right box, you have the right compression of air, you get the sound. Good compressed box, good sound. Bad box, bad sound. So that's what's happening. If this thing had a box, I'm sure this thing would be way more stronger than the Sony. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Vlog ended. Oh yeah, look out. Smile Killers is out. So yeah, what is Smile Killers? That'll be another video content. I'll be talking about Smile Killers. What is it all about? Hope you guys understand the meaning of it. Spoiler alert, my next content is gonna be about Skylines. So, so, so stay tuned to that. You know, like, like, be ready for that. Be, be, be ready for that. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm so hyped about that content. I don't want to give you, you know, some spoiler alert more. Just like, keep it there. Please like the video so I know I did a good job. Please subscribe. That will be help. You guys will be helping me with the subscribe. But if you put the bell, at least you guys will know when the next content is out. If you're interested in Skyline. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> Go follow me on Instagram. Follow my friends on Instagram. All right, fresh dude out. <laughs>